Hi, I'm Karen. Today, I'm showing you my top 10 favorite apps for engineering students. Before we get started, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, DataCamp. DataCamp is an online learning platform that makes acquiring data skills easier and more convenient for everyone. It has over 350 data science courses designed by experts on anything from introductory SQL classes to natural language processing in Python, so both newbies and pros can find great ways to grow their knowledge. If I had done this machine learning for everyone course, I would have had a much more solid foundation of the topic instead of going into my university machine learning class with no prior knowledge. I'm now further developing these skills with a deep learning in Python course. DataCamp also has real-world projects which would add another great bullet point to your resume. You can access DataCamp straight from the browser without any extra software. If you don't know where to start, try taking one of DataCamp's free assessments and get personalized learning recommendations so you can become data fluent today. Develop new skills with DataCamp so you can stand out professionally. Invest in yourself. Use my link in the description and check out the first chapter of any course for free. Now, onto the apps. The first app I want to talk about is Lucidchart. Although making diagrams is typically not my favorite, this app almost makes it enjoyable. It's not only great for generic flowcharts, but also has just about every icon you would need for UML class and sequence diagrams. It even has logic gates. It's super easy to drag and drop, resize, and label elements as needed. Overall, this is a very functional app that could be useful for any engineer. Next up, Truth Table. This one is self-explanatory. Unfortunately, I found this app after I completed my discrete math courses, but this app still comes in handy fairly regularly. I like that the app shows you each of the steps and not just the final output of the table. If you've been around my channel before, then you probably know I can't make a video without mentioning Notability. It's my favorite app for taking notes, doing handwritten assignments, annotating PDFs, and reading textbooks. It has a clean and minimal look to it, but has everything you would need in a note-taking app. It's definitely my most used app on the iPad by far. I'm curious to know, if you've tried out GoodNotes and Notability, let me know in the comments which one you think is better. Next up is another app for diagramming called Draw Express Diagrams. There's a free and a premium version, but I found that the free version has all I need. I think this app is particularly great for ER diagrams. It's very easy to use and makes ER diagrams quick work. This app is also great for anyone wanting to make networking diagrams or document the use of AWS products. It's super easy to drag and drop, resize, and label elements as needed. Number five, we have Trello. This is a simple productivity app that is great for managing longer term or more complex projects you may encounter, whether they be group or individual projects. On the iPad, Trello allows you to create customizable Kanban boards for your projects and create cards with checklists, description, labels, attachments, and more. Trello makes it easy to customize a productivity system for your needs. Number six, Convertible. This is a simple app for conversions, but one that I reference all the time. It has a great UI and has just about every conversion you'd need. It's not gonna make physics easy, but it'll certainly save some time to have this open in the background. Next up is Symbol Lab. This has probably been my most used resource throughout college, both on the browser and in the iPad app. Symbol Lab allows you to type in just about any math problem you may have, so it's helpful for calculus, linear algebra, physics, 
and really any other math related course. Number eight, Desmos. Along with Symbol Lab, I have found the Desmos app to be a commonly used app for any other math-based class. Everyone needs a good graphing calculator and the Desmos app does the job. Of course, it's helpful in math and physics classes, but also with analyzing time complexities. Next up is Code Snack. For all my fellow coders out there, this is a really great IDE for the iPad. It's the only decent and free app I found that supports C, C++, and Java. Of course, you can't really do anything too fancy on here, but it does point out your compiler errors, and it can be a great tool to test out some of your basic code. And lastly, Pythonista. It's basically a fully functional Python IDE. It has code completion and feels exactly like a standard IDE if you're using the Magic Keyboard. Although it's not a free app, it's very worth the $10. It's also neat because they have sample code provided with some cool basic applets. I highly recommend this app to anyone using Python or wanting to learn it. If you have any other apps you recommend, make sure to leave them in the comments. And that's all. If you made it to the end of the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support my channel. Thanks for watching.